Welcome back to another episode of Devon's Beekeeping and today we're gonna do the first episode into a new series that I'll be doing which is um, my queen rearing season. So in this I'm gonna teach you how to increase the number of colony in your apiary and I find that this to be the most effective method to doing so. So in stages we're gonna be doing I'm for this episode I'm gonna start by showing you how to design a queen castle. I'll explain to you what a queen castle is what's the purpose of it then for the next one that we will go into the next episode is gonna be about um, grafting so how you prepare the cell how you prepare the frame for the um, queen castle and um, how you're gonna prepare a cell builder or um, I'm gonna be doing the start to finish a method um, and then from there how you use the queen castle to increase the number of um, returning queens because for pretty much for queen wearing to me it's it's the numbers game you want to have as much queens as possible so it doesn't really matter you you get a certain amount of um queen returning from their mating flights um for my particular area based on testing that i've done so far i have a 50 percent return um so far which is pretty bad and um i don't know why so notorious for my era where i have such low low return of queens so it's it's not economical and it doesn't make sense for me to um to do the walk away split method especially when you have to commit so much resources into um doing a walk away split versus using a queen castle that requires only like one frame of bees with brood with um nectar and with pollen on it and that's all that you really need and some nurse bees to ensure that that queen fully hatches out goes on their mating flight and gets back so for this episode we're gonna be doing the queen castle and i'm gonna take you most the most cost effective way that i see so far of creating a queen castle i'm gonna be using ply and um this you can put up at any of your local hardware um i'm also gonna be using um quarter inch dress ply as well which you can also find that um any local hardware as well and that will be used for the sectioning so without further ado let's get the queen wearing episode started all right so for those of you new beekeepers who may not be aware what a queen castle is um, a queen castle is pretty much a normal long strap box however what it does have is that it has segments that will be separated by this pin thin breech strip of wood here or ply and each segment we're gonna break it up into four so we're gonna have one two three and then four so four segments and each segment is gonna have its own entrance so we're gonna put one entrance here one entrance here one entrance here and one entrance here and what that is gonna do is that I'm gonna pretty much be separating the bees when I introduce um, a frame of bees in here um, what so for me I have to I use less resources when I'm doing splits when I utilize a queen castle because I have for this one box I can put four set of cells in this and when it hatches out each respective queen will have their own entrances they can fly go out mate and then come back and then um, from that it increases my number or my odds of getting actual return mated queens for those who don't make it like for instance if the middle one didn't make it but this one over here make it then all I have to do is just remove that segment there and I can easily combine the colonies into one with a mated queen um, and from there so very very interesting method but it's, I think it's an essential part of your beekeeping operation so I think this is a essential part of any beekeeping operation because pretty much you really want to increase your colonies and then you don't want to dedicate too much unnecessary resources into doing a walk away split. So this is the most effective method I've found so far to increase your numbers. So I'm going to show you how to build a queen castle step by step and then we're going to go into the next episode which is going to be um, preparing frames with each cell and then grafting into those cells and then from there allowing them to pretty much draw out it now typically when you want to do grafting you really want to do grafting when the bees 
want to split meaning that you're gonna do it either at the beginning of a flow or at the end or trickling down to the end of a flow that way when you do the graph you don't require a lot of bees in order to maintain there's no rubbing there they have enough um, nectar and pollen coming in where they can quickly draw out that second frame that you're gonna put in that second strip and you'll have two frame of bees in no time then from there you can move that out to a nook give them some more time to draw that out and then from there that's a full colony for next year and this is what we're gonna be doing we're gonna start the building process from December and then we're gonna do the grafting in about March for me in Jamaica that's pretty much when my season is still at its peak but it, at that point it starts to trickle down going into April and May pretty much into the going down into a dirt period from there so let's 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 go ahead and get this started all right guys so pretty much i'll just be doing um the queen the queen castle based off the dimension of this box that you're seeing here so standard launch of box so it's going to be 16 and a half for the width overall width and um, this is 19 and a quarter so it's just for you to cut the length and the width um to spec and then we can pretty much go into making the notch where the frames are supposed to be slit slit um set on and then for the corner right here we just insert a groove so the wood would sit nice and flush put everything together and then we're almost on our way we would have to also make um space for the grooves as well so the wood can sit in so we can slide in that quarter inch ply all right so we need this was measured to 16 and a half and i'm gonna go ahead and make the cut i need two of this cut and then i will also need two cut at 19 and a quarter for the um, length of the box so let's go <laughs> Alright, so now that we have everything ripped to the correct length, it's now time to rip everything to the correct width. And then uh, from there, we will move on into making the correct grooves and then also um, assembling the box and making the, the depth, the notch, so the frames can sit in. So the height of the... Um, the bus is gonna be nine and three quarter the saw has already been dialed in so i'm just gonna go ahead and make all the cuts all right guys so pretty much everything is already cut to the proper length and width so now what's left to do on this is then i need to cut a notch in here a notch here and a notch here and this will um seat the um the wood so i can get to staple it properly together so it's just to create a little bit more surface here so everything will hold properly and then from there i made the individual notches for the separation to get four chambers and uh, from that assemble everything together and then we will drill the appropriate hole for each colony to enter and exit so in order to do the notch as quickly as possible i'm going to be using a dado stack of blade specifically the diablo this can be found on Amazon if it is that you're interested in it. And um, it makes it easier, it makes the cuts more uniform. Um, so, yep, let me just go ahead and start this one. Alright then, and finally, now we're just going to do the notches. And all I did was just to divide this equally into four segments. And then I'll just make the notches accordingly. And that's going to complete all the grooves that we have to cut out then we will have to cut the um, quarter inch dress ply down to the correct um, width and depth to slide in between here and then pretty much that's gonna be it we will just drill the appropriate holes for the bees to come and go and um, yep we are good from there so let's go okay guys so I'm finished assembling the boxes so far um, so 
the bottom is just um, a 20 by 16 and a half to match the diameter of the wood and um, pretty much all the notches are there so the next part is just to cut the quarter inch um, dress ply to make the different partitions and then once I do that then pretty much we're pretty set for there and then we can just move into the final thing of um, drilling out the appropriate hole and also making the covers for each section um, so I'm gonna quickly get that wrapped up because I'm pretty much running out of time Evelyn is coming down and I need to get it done so stay tuned guys while I continue to put this Queen Castle together so we're pretty much one step away to completing the um, the Queen Castle so these are gonna be the covers for each compartment and they're just cut to the diameter of the cover I'm gonna be drilling respective holes staggering them so if I need to feed them I can feed them without having to um, fully open or going into the colony and then from there everything should be good from here I'll just drill the respective holes and I'll show you that in a bit and then we are done with the Queen Castle so I wanted to show you what the finished product actually looks like so if you realize that it's divided it into four compartments so one two three four each compartment has their own hole for here and a one at the side there it is separated by these three dividers and um, how it works one frame in one frame in and this is gonna be one compartment for one queen and we'll do the same across each compartment then it also comes with the cover here so I just slide that in and that's gonna be it for one so one chamber two chamber three chamber four chamber and um, I can use this little part here for feeding but it also separates each one um, once I put the cover on on it with the um, uh, pliable inner cover it seals everything come right across and if I need to feed I can take something put here and I can feed each respective chamber um, so this with this one box I can keep three virgin queens in it put them in each compartment and um, each one flies out on their mating flight and come back what I will do is that when I paint it, the whole box is painted in white, but each cover will have a different um, different color. So I'm gonna give you an idea of what the finished product is because this is complete is being utilized now in my apron. So let's pan over and see what's happening. And as you can see as well, guys, the work never really stopped. These are some boxes that I've been working on as well. You know, just trying to make much use of the sun as possible because with the weather I haven't gotten much opportunity to do any work so these are just some boxes in preparation for the season so this is what the finished thing looks like and as you can see each compartment has a different color so it makes it easier for the bees to for the queen when she goes on her mating flight to identify the color and return back to the right chamber now these are already in use I'm using um, pretty much two chamber for this because I had um, four queens in this one but only two got mated so I just combined them at the end of the day so I'm only using two chambers for this box here and for this one over here I had two queen Made two two queens in this one right. for this one over here I had two queens in this one and um, only one returned from their mating flight there was a virgin queen still in the other chamber so I'm still giving her a little time to see if she's going to um, go out and mate and come back but for now for this two chamber over here only one queen is mated so I'm giving her another week I'll check on her if not then I'll just go ahead and just um, combine them so 
continue to watch guys as I put out more series as it relates to uh, moving on into grafting the tools that you need for grafting selecting the queen that you will need as well that has the, all the genetics that you need from out of your colony and then creating a start to finish a box to bring the cells from start to finish and then from there you put the respective cells in the queen um, in the queen castles and then they'll take it away from there so if it's your first time here guys please give a like share subscribe and leave a comment down below if there's anything that you think or you have an opinion that you want to share we always appreciate it i'm a new beekeeper so I always like a second opinion so thanks again for watching guys bye bye